Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use wildcards to perform a lookup and sum up values. So let's say for example you get a list and this is a list of items and it's concatenated with airport codes. Airport codes are three character codes that define an airport. So this ATL is Atlanta, LAX is Los Angeles, ORD is Chicago, O'Hare, uh, DFW Dallas Fort Worth. So these are the couple airports here. And this is just an example of like when you get some labels or descriptions and they just combine everything together. And you're, you do find that there are some unique values that you can get out of there. And you want to be able to kind of do some aggregation. In this example, we're going to sum up things. So we want to find out like with this quantity, what is the total quantity that is associated with these particular airports and we can use a wildcard to find this. I'll show the example of using a wildcard and if you didn't know the wildcard what is the other way you can do this. So let's do the wildcard way first. So with the wildcard way all we need to do is if we want to sum up this quantity we just use the sum if formula. So you do sum if open parentheses what is our range? This is our range here and I'm going to press F4 so it will lock those cell references that got the dollar sign in front of the letter and the number so when I copy it down it doesn't change comma so my next thing is my criteria my criteria is ATL but I need to find ATL within this string and I'm gonna use a wildcard and the wildcard is quote double quotes the multiplication sign or the asterisk close quotes and that value and I don't really need to do an enclosing quote at the end because there's nothing at the end because this asterisk is looking for anything that comes before the ATL. You can see for most of this in the examples nothing comes after the three letter code so I don't need anything afterwards. So all I need to do now is press a comma and my sum range is this sum range. And I'll also press F4 to lock those in because when I copy it down, I don't want those to change. Close parentheses, press enter. You'll notice it's 170. ATL, there's three instances of ATL here. Let's press the control key to auto to select non-contiguous cells here. Where's the other ATL? That's, there's one ATL here, and there's one ATL here, and I think that's it. And the total is 170, and you can find that it equals 170 here. Drag the fill handle, double click the fill handle to copy the formula down and you can see that it has copied it down. Just to do a quick check here, let's check and see where we have our sums here. So I looked at 170 for ATL. Let's look at DFW. Bring up the filter here. So let's filter this. And anything that says DFW, let's see DFW. All right, there's two. And if I select this, my sum is 108 and it doesn't show up here because I filter it. Let's unfilter it. Just remember 108 and we have 108 for DFW. Now, if you didn't have this particular concept of doing wildcards, the other thing that we can do is we can just bring out the airport codes and ideally, this is an ideal situation where we have the airport codes at the end. So all we need to do is use a function called write and we're looking at our text here. And we just need to bring back the three characters to the right, starting from the right. So they're all going to be three characters. Press enter. You see ATL here. Double click or just drag the fill handle down here. And we have our different airports. If I just wanted to do a filter, let's bring back the filter for all the columns here. I can filter for, I don't know, ORD and I find my values here, right to 121, right? And in this way, if I wanted to do something with just that, so here I can use the sum if, and what is my range? This is my range here, and I need to press F4 to lock that in. Let's press F4 here to lock this one in too comma, my criteria is this is my criteria, colon, what's my sum range? Which area or list do I want to 
sum up, and that's going to be that area. Press F4 to lock that in. Close parentheses, press Enter, and we have my 170 there. Double click the fill handle, and you see I have my exact formulas here. So that takes an extra step, right? Because you need to pull out that ATL or the ORD, those three characters from this label, and then you can use the summit formula. If you didn't want to do that, you can use the wildcard step here, join it with that, and you can do your lookup to sum everything else here. So that's how we can use a wildcard to look up a value within a string and do some sum or aggregate functions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.